Hello, people of Ijincho. Election day is tomorrow, and Sota Kume is here with a final campaign message. The Citizens Liberal Party is proud to endorse him. As the head of Yokohama's Bleach Japan branch, his attacks on the Gray Zones speak for themselves. We should all be inspired by how he persevered despite being ridiculed as an idealist many times in his career. But he stayed true to his beliefs, cleaned up our town, and has earned Governor Alki's deepest trust. It all led him to this campaign, which is not just about the second district. His support is national. He not only has Governor Alki's endorsement, but also that of Bleach Japan branches all across the country. The Citizens Liberal Party is the only party serious about cracking down on gray zones. Someday, every last one of them will be purged. With our support, Sota Kume and Ryo Aoki will see Japan reborn, clean, fair, and beautiful. So we beseech all of you to vote with courage. For the good of Japan, wash the gray away, bleach Japan clean. Everyone, please take a trip down memory lane with me for a second. Think back to two years ago, when nobody thought this city would ever be free of its criminal element. People said the new Kamuro police station would amount to little more than a street decoration. But now, look around you. The Tojo clan, a plague upon our city for countless years, is nowhere to be seen. Kamurocho's been completely reborn as a city that stands up for what is right. And if we can do it here, we can do it everywhere. Party Chair Aoki is the magician making crime disappear, and Bleach Japan is his magic wand. After this, you're scheduled to give a three-minute speech from the truck. Then we'll leave Shinjuku and be on our way, Mr. Oh. Hmm? What's the matter? I'm sorry, should I refer to you as party chair instead of governor? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It's tough when someone has two titles, isn't it? But you can keep calling me the governor if that's what you're used to. That work? <laughs> Certainly rolls off the tongue better anyway. Ah, uh, of course, sir. Thank you for clearing that up. Will this be a live broadcast? Oh, yes. Some of these media outlets have been camped out here for your speech since noon. I see. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like I'm in a dream. Why? Well, I've been working my whole life to have this kind of influence. I slowly climbed up society's ladder, which, for politicians, has vipers slithering on every rung. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I avoided growing a pair of fangs myself. Oh. I don't believe you're the type to do that. <laughs> well, beliefs are different from the truth. Mr. Governor... It's not like I ever caused any harm. In truth, any laws I broke really didn't matter. And at least I had a real goal, unlike the others who made empty promises with no intent to keep them. Me? I actually believed in what I said. And now... Now you have the power to follow through on it, to do what's just. Governor, Sensei, your situation wasn't uncommon. Everyone's had to break a few eggs to make an omelet. When it's a noble ideal you're striving for, there are always sacrifices to be made. History proves that to us. Wow. Oh, I I'm sorry. That was out of line. No, I needed to hear that. Thank you. <sighs> well, they're waiting for me out there. They sure are. 
Go out there and show them just how noble your goals are, Governor. I will. Thank you for your patience, everyone. We appreciate you sticking around. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce our next honored guest. You all know him as the beloved governor of Tokyo, but now he's also the party chair of the CLP. He's been running around all over the country preparing for the big election tomorrow, but as always, he's made time for Kamurocho. Please give a warm welcome to Ryoaki. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please give yourselves a hand for coming out here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for all your passionate support. We couldn't do this without you. Excuse me! Excuse me, good people of Kamurocho! My name is Ichiban Kasuga, and I'm running for Kanagawa District 2! People have been talking about me like I died in an explosion in Ichin Show, but I'm just fine. In fact, I feel great, and I couldn't pass up this chance to shake Governor Aoki's hand. Fine. Let him through. I know you ordered Captain Sawashiro to kill Arakawa-san. Don't try to deny it. The captain told me so himself. In fact, he even said there's a recording of you given the order. And it's somewhere inside the Arakawa family office in the Millennium Tower. So we're going to do a little office raid tomorrow before the polls close. That recording's going to be plastered on every corner of the internet. We're going to ruin you, young master. If a recording like that actually existed, you wouldn't be warning me about it. You're bluffing. <laughs> if you think it's a bluff, that's no skin off my nose. You know, now I understand why Arakawa-san was so worried about you. Right up to the end. So was Sawashiro. You let it all go to your head, man. It's like you forgot what honor is. You think you can get away with anything. But you couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> you know, elections are funny things. You never know what's gonna happen. That said, <laughs> I didn't see this twist coming. Kasuga declaring war on me. Of course, if I were him, I might have combed my hair before I got on national television. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, Nick. How'd I look on TV? Smooth, huh? The plan went off without a hitch. Well, you got the public's attention. You're trending in tons of places online. But not in a positive way. No, I'm always gonna look like a villain next to the young master. But you know, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Someone's pleased with himself. Hell yeah, I am. The young master reacted just like I knew he would. Oh yeah? Okay, then. well, I just found a new place. You need a hideout in Kamarocho, right? There's a bar called Earth Angel in the Champion District. I sort of know the mama there. Earth Angel, huh? Got it. I'll meet you there. Hmm. Yo. The drinks were nice. Hey, Nick. I think your friend's here. You know this guy, right? Hi, Ichiban. Hey. Thanks for all the help. So did you really want to shake Alki's hand that bad? Or was there more to the plan? Yeah, it wasn't about the handshake. That was just stage one, man. Plenty more to come, now that the young master took the bait. Well, I still think stage two is more than a little shaky. Can someone fill me in on what it is already? Okay. So Alki ordered Sawashiro to kill Masumi Arakawa. Our first move was to tell Aoki there's a recording of him giving that order in the Arakawa family office. What? Is there really? Of course not. Huh? It's bullshit, and he totally knows that. But the beauty of it is, he can't risk ignoring it. Because if there's even a 1% chance it's true, he goes to jail and his whole life goes up in smoke. So now, he has to do a sweep of the captain's office. I'm sure they'll turn the whole Arakawa office upside down looking for it. Not just Sawashiro's. Yeah, plus I told them we were planning to go get the recording. I said we'd do that before the polls close tomorrow. Which means Aoki is gonna be desperate to find that data before we do. No doubt he's gonna throw some serious manpower at the task. Think of the scene at the Millennium Tower tonight. It's gonna be swarming with Omi Yakuza. But then what? Well, they can search all night, and of course, they won't find shit. But Aoki won't be satisfied. After his minions turn up empty-handed, he's gonna send his biggest, baddest dude. Tendo, right? Yep. The guy who killed Arakawa-san. Not to mention he tried to blow us up, too. We would have been screwed if Adachi-san hadn't noticed something was off. Kasuga, we need to go! Huh? Everyone, get out! True. Add that to the pile of reasons to take revenge on Tendo. But what do we do about Aoki? We'll get to him, but he can take a fucking number. Tendo is the highest name on my shit list. You really think he'll show up at the tower? Right now, he's basically the leader of the Tokyo Omi Alliance. So he's desperate for the recording, too. He'll show up when they don't find it. I think it's a solid plan. And besides, does anybody have a better idea? Nope. And I wish I'd come up with this one. What use am I if all the good ideas are coming out of Kasuga's head? I have the same problem. Good plan or not, I wouldn't count on Aoki and Tendo waiting until tomorrow. I think they're gonna come and take care of you first chance they get. 
In case you forgot, you're on enemy turf here in Kamarocho. <laughs> you set foot outside, and every cat in this town will pounce on you like a mouse. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I've been sitting on my hands so long I'm down to warm up with some cats before I take on the lions. Really? I gotta go through the Arakara office with a fine-toothed comb for this shit? Correct. Sounds to me like me and my guys are cleaning up after your mistake. Yes, you are. Do you need every order I give you explained in minute detail? Sorry I'm not on the same wavelength you and Sawashiro were. <sighs> I'm guessing Kasuga survived after all, huh? That's a loose end I'm actually glad to tie up for you. And this time, I'll make sure it never unravels. Any objections? Oh, now you want to be careful and not say naughty stuff out loud. Worried there's a recorder nearby, huh? Smart man. I'll just say one thing. Yeah? If anything ever happens to me, your little Omi Alliance Fun Patrol is dead in the water. This castle you've built is on pillars of sand. Without me, those pillars all turn to mud. The same can't be said of you. I can replace you in a heartbeat, as many times as I need. We are not on equal ground, Tendo. <laughs> what? Think I don't know any of this? You should realize, though, we're just getting started. The Tokyo Omi Alliance is gonna earn your respect. Trust me. You can earn it by just focusing on the job you have now, protecting me. Which is in your best interest anyway. See how these things go together? As long as I'm your top priority, I'll continue to seek your services. It's that simple. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But Aoki-sensei... What is it? Someday, I think you're gonna see the value of our services. You'll come around. Hmm... <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mako-chan! Damn, Father Time has not been kind to you. He was a real jerk to you too, Adachi-san. It's been a while. Who's this? The rarest of creatures. A detective you can actually trust. His name's Makoto Date. So you're Ichiban Kasuga. <laughs> Rumors are true. You got eyes just like he did back in the day. Like who did? An old friend. Nobody you would know. Anyway, I hear you're trying to keep a low profile. Well, you couldn't ask for a better spot. Go on, get some rest. It's late. You sure? Any friend of Adachi Senpai is a friend of mine. From what I've heard, you've got a big day tomorrow. Do what you need here to rest up. Wow. 
Thanks a bunch, man. Take care. Appreciate it, Mako-chan. Sorry to get you wrapped up in this. <sighs> this is a walk in the park compared to the shenanigans I usually get roped into. <laughs> Good luck, Ichiban Kasuga. You too! Good morning, Ichiban. TV says the polls are already open. I wonder if anyone's put a check next to your name yet. Oh, I'm sure someone's done that as a joke by now. <laughs> or a pity vote. Hey, Ichiban. Hmm? We're ready to go when you are. The Millennium Tower is standing there like a big old beacon. Of course, once you step inside, remember... That's an act of war against Ryo Aoki and the Omi Alliance. Yep. If we go in, there's no going back. You probably better tie up any loose ends first, Ichiban. This is Nick. So, finally going to invade the Millennium Tower. How'd you... Are you watching us or something? Through a screen, yeah. One of my guys is streaming a video of you to my computer. Okay. And? Well, Tendo himself went inside the place, just like you predicted. That was two hours ago. He'll be in there. Oh, yeah? Awesome. Thanks, man. Hey, Ichiban. This is your Demon Lord's Tower. And Tendo's waiting for you on the top floor. I'll be listening for the victory theme, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> 